Well, hi, hi, and welcome to Strap a Watch. I'm Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. Oh, what a whirlwind of a week, man. It's good to be home. Uh, my son-in-law, Eric, and I were in Silicon Valley this past week at a business conference for our hearing healthcare clinic. We won an award, amazingly, but we did. And uh, Thursday this past week, was Eric's birthday. That was the day we flew home to Jacksonville, Florida from San Jose, California. So, you know, three different hours of time changes and we had a layover for a few hours in um, Dallas, Fort Worth. So we spent his whole birthday on airplanes and in airports. I took him out for lunch, but I'm giving him one of my watches in my collection. And what it is, it's a Squale Onda. And what I had done was made this beautiful, it's a genuine alligator skin hide. It's a, like a, a tobacco brown. This is the actual hide that I had cut it out. I had made a few other straps, cutting them out from here on the sides first. And so I got quite a bit of this left. Um, it hasn't been that popular, but boy, what I had done was held up all of the alligator skins I had next to this watch and the dial. And this one just gave it the most class. And also Eric has a pretty sweet pair of newer brown shoes that I know this strap is gonna match wonderfully. And then the stitching is in the same color as the dial, and it happens to be his favorite color as well. It's kind of a, oh, it's this aqua blue type color. So a lot of little bonus features in this episode. Stick around after the intro, we're gonna get right into it. so much for joining me today on this special edition of strap a watch for my son-in-law's birthday eric the big daddy i call him Big E, and this is his birthday present so with the bracelet on uh you can see it's a very odd bracelet everything is kind of in a diagonal pattern and i guess it's to match this wave pattern on the dial i don't know and it might just be something with the limited edition. I've never owned a Squale before. It's the only one. I bought it on eBay oh, a while ago. And yes, please like, subscribe, share if you haven't done so yet. I'm, I'm building this channel slowly but surely. Just hit the four-month mark and the 500th subscriber mark. And this watch also came with a leather strap included. And it had never been worn. It still had the tag on there. And what I'm doing here is removing the buckle. And I've placed that now on the strap that I made, the alligator strap I made for Eric. So here is the hide. And I had a couple of orders out of this hide. That's it. And right now I'm in the process of ordering some more alligator skins uh, especially black i'm just about out i've been looking for another blue comparable to what i had before or a cobalt blue it's called it's a little bit darker and boy it's getting tough so i don't know if it's just this time of year or just with the supplier that i really have been utilizing they're they're pretty much tapped out of what i like to use okay so but i've got a lot of this brown and no Strap a watch is not about me promoting to sell watch straps via my website. I that's I do that, but it, that's not what this channel is all about. Strap a watch. I started this to promote enthusiasm for the wearing of watches, and especially mechanical watches. Um, you know, in my hearing healthcare practice, I literally have thousands and thousands of patients that I see and one of the things that I really had been noticing because I'm such a watch enthusiast myself is very few people were wearing watches and I started just quickly surveying a number of people and would just ask you know I, I notice you do not wear a watch may I ask why and by far the biggest response is 
well, I have my cell phone. I don't need to wear a watch. So, you know, I always have the time on me. Uh, the second uh, biggest would be a complaint that they're, they're uncomfortable to wear. And then the other thing that I've noticed is instead of mechanical watches, uh, the ones who are wearing watches are wearing smart watches and especially Apple watches. So I do not yet own an Apple watch. I'm never going to say never. But um, I do own a few quartz watches, and, and I use them as thrashers, and as, as you know. And a lot of times when I'm traveling on vacations, those diehards that are out there know that's what I travel with as a quartz watch. This trip out to California, by the way, I was sporting my Grand Seiko. Um, and I brought the new strap that I made for after conference hours and during the conference hours um, and I have it on in this episode as well I'm sporting the alligator strap the blue alligator strap that I had made for it so we've got a little treat here coming up I just got a dog also on Friday and you're gonna see her playing with my granddaughter Come down the stairs, baby. Come down the stairs. Try and get Billy down the stairs. Come on. Good girl. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Like you trying to be like Billy? You come here, puppy. <laughs> There's Billy. You jump. Everybody see you jump. <laughs> it's all done. All done. Well, how cute was that? Oh, man. Yeah, we get our granddaughter quite a bit. And uh, it's so special. So this puppy, as you can see, it's a skipper key puppy. If you're not familiar, familiar with the breed, they uh, were bred around the 1400s to be guard dogs and watchdogs on little uh, like barges in, um, in Belgium and in Amsterdam, what have you. They were originally uh, herding little dogs and also ratters back in the day. So the breed's been around a long time. And what it was is my, my father was a veterinarian. And back when I was a little boy, I've, I've wanted one of these dogs for decades and never had one. And, and we have not, my wife and I have not had a dog for 10 years. So, um, and I'll tell you why I ended up getting her, but I've wanted one of these dogs for a long time. I've told my wife the story over and over, and she was always like, no, we're not getting one of those dogs. And so um, my wife, I think, is more of a bigger dog person. These dogs only get up to about 15, 16 pounds. But there was an older couple that um, used to have their dog, their skipper key, boarded with us when my father had a, had a kennel system back when I was a little boy. And uh, the dog, you know, even the first time it ever came to us, it slept with me that night in the house, and then it did ever, ever since then. And my dad was honest about it. And these people were very wealthy. They were world travelers. And so her name was Sadie. Every time Sadie would come, um, you know, she slept with me in the house, and I took care of her. 
And so I've always just fell in love with the breed, fell in love with these dogs, and just never had one. So here, talk about the whirlwind. You know, we flew in, got in late Thursday night. She flew in from Missouri on uh, Friday, so uh, about noonish. So I just, uh, you know, and now I'm trying to get this show out. I've one thing after another. You know, we're taking care of Lillian and and trying to make this birthday present. Oh my gosh, what a week! What a week! So I am a little bit behind getting this video out. I do apologize, but you can see um, it's coming together very, very nicely. Setting the time, checking. You can see there's there's the Grand Seiko with uh, the blue alligator strap. I just took it off and got the buckle on the new strap. So I'm just checking how it looks and feels, and it is awesome, man. I mean, after I got done with this, I'll tell you what, I liked it so much better. It was like, I don't know if I want to give it away, but no, it's not a watch I'm going to keep for myself. And Eric has really gotten into watches. I gave him a watch a little bit before Christmas for a Christmas present, and he's been, you know, wearing it all the time. I've gotten him actually a couple of watches, but this is a big one for his birthday. Um, it's not the most expensive watch, and so, you know, uh, it is an automatic movement watch. They're out of Italy. It's an Italian brand. Um, and, and, you know, it's just uh, the, the, the beauty of the dial is why I bought it again. And, you know, to match our, our shirts that we wear at our hearing health clinic day in, day out. So there's my logo on the back side. Turned out great. I, I really think it did. He loves this kind of aqua blue color. So please subscribe if you haven't. I thank you for joining me again today. Happy birthday, Big E. God bless you all, and until next time, keep on ticking.